this is Ronin. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to this particular mini-series where I play Dork in your stew while employing a real life esque CQB tactics that I've learned by playing Airsoft and other MilSim games. This is not the first video uh, in this series and if you'd like to see the first one here is uh, the link to it. If you'd like to skip all the introductions uh, click on the next chapter. So here we go. Now let's uh, introduce um, our team, the Final Fantasy squad first. Uh, we have uh, Kefka, who's a, a squad machine gunner. Uh, we have Cypher, who is the grenadier, because I'll explain why I'm bringing him. We have Tifa, who is a marksman. Uh, and again, I'm going to explain why I've decided to put her in this particular team. We have Ronin, because he's Ronin. We have Sephiroth, another uh, machine gunner uh, who is slotted in and Sid because he needs to be in every single mission. So let's look at what we have here. First of all, it's the um, yet another hostage rescue and they must survive if you look at this or, or be rescued. Um, and all the terrorists here must be eliminated, although it's optional as long as we are able to get the hostage out but to be honest what I've learned so far is it may be easier to just eliminate everyone now what we have here we have one structure here in the middle which is a number of uh, small rooms with a number of windows and exits that will present some uh, issues there is a lot of open space around and I'm kind of uh, separating this particular map into uh, two um, a different area. So one is a bigger area, uh, uh, called number two, I think, and then this is number one. The reason why I'm separating them here is because my plan is to have this team here uh, run containment uh, on this area, so no one can go through here and surprise us from the back. While this uh, assault team is going to be making entrance through here, making sure that this particular area is clear and we are going to uh, go from this position and go internal uh, as soon as we are able to, um, to do so. Uh, I'm gonna take it slow, although the three concepts of CQB apply here, surprise, uh, violence of action and speed. Uh, and uh, we so far have the element of surprise because they don't know that we are here. Once uh, uh, the we open up, I think uh, speed uh, must be there, but it's not about moving really uh, quickly. It's about being specific and moving quickly from one objective to another and being thorough in executing those objectives. So let's get cracking. All right, so first, because they have silencers, or suppressors, we are going to do away with that. Now we have uh, those uh, barriers here. This is a good uh, way to uh, establish some kind of a, a base of fire. Here we already uh, can have some sort of cross coverage. So my plan is to have Kefka to move closer to uh, the edge of this wall here and uh, make sure to I this uh, angle deeply and see what's there and at the same time uh, Tifa because she is uh, the uh, uh, marksman uh, she will move look deep as well and that's why I brought her in and the reason why I brought machine gunners is because I am planning to uh, have some kind of suppression going on so let's go move the rest of the stack Let's go. Okay, so the fire is out. We're gonna let it breathe for four seconds or five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's pay off more of this situation. I can see that this is now completely empty uh, because we've seen all of it. So I'm not worried about this angle. When we enter, I'm not worried about uh, anyone uh, running this angle unless of course somebody goes this way but we're going to um, make sure that it doesn't happen with Tifa we're gonna pie off this little area and it seems to be clear now I'm only worried about what's happening here uh, this guy is gonna uh, my uh, machine gunner Kefka he's gonna keep 
uh, this position and uh, safer is gonna go the reason why I'm happy with this is because we are covering all angles he's gonna go and pie off more of this area okay so far so good we've now cleared this area uh, and not cleared but we've made sure that there's nothing there and here area here so now I'm actually happy to move my troops internal uh, not internal within the threshold of this particular um, compound and we are going to do it thusly you're gonna go here let's just make sure that this is clear and Ronan you are moving here for now machine gunner you are coming this way uh, we are holding this angle for a bit longer let's go now um, we've kind of cleared this we know that there's nothing here so I'm actually quite happy to move with uh, my uh, team a bit further out now I'm holding this angle and uh, we're holding this angle with a sharpshooter well with a marksman so she is going to cover anything that may be going this way so the only problem I have is here because uh, this um, I can't predict what is standing there when moving with my troops on the left so I'm gonna move very deliberately very slowly uh, holding co uh, behind cover of this particular vehicle Okay, now we see that they're reacting. So. Right, we had a whole bunch of them running out and uh, Ronan did his job. He did get shot, um, which uh, we should have put more guns in there. Potentially one more person like Sephiroth. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. So uh, Tifa did her job. We now are uh, securing anyone who is going this direction or through here. And while we're doing that, I'm going to move further, being very aware of this particular opening. So while I'm moving, we are going to be doing this. And you, my friend, are going to cover that area. Now we have one guy with a grenade launcher, I think but this is okay so far now this building this area is clear so I'm not worried about it but we have this angle probably shooting this way however they can't see us nor I can't see them I don't want to do a grenade launcher inside because I'm not actually sure how many um, hostages there are so we're gonna keep moving Okay, and you, my friend, are going this way. All right, let's go. All right, good. So all the open doors, which they, for some reason, um, did open the doors, they, it provides us with a lot, a lot of uh, good angles uh, to look in deeply into the structure. Keep going. Now, we have this area, which is, uh, we need to make sure that it's uh, gonna be clear but for now I can't really safely uh, peek into uh, this position. So let's move our assault team here. Ronan, you are going to go this way. So here you can see I have Ronan uh, covering the rear, although it's not really necessary, but it's better to be safe rather than sorry. And Sid, you are moving here covering this position okay so what we have here is we're gonna pie it off a little bit okay good so this is pied off and uh, it's uh, we have pied off and we actually cleared one more insurgent and Sid is gonna go and uh, arch a little bit more while 
looking into this direction here. Now Sid is effectively plating uh, the area, but we don't want to be staying there too long. Ronan, you are going this way and then moving this direction. So now I'm happy to move internal because safer you are covering uh, this direction here. Uh, so no one will approach us from this area and uh, uh, Kefka, you are he's covering anything that may be coming from us uh, to, to for us I guess through this direction. Let's go. Okay, this is clear. Now we need to make sure that I'm actually going to risk it with safer a little bit more to look deeply into this area because the windows here are quite dangerous and if I'm going to move in I would like I'd rather not have any nasty surprises from that particular window so let's go. Moving to the bushes and we're clear. So safer is uh, looking after this area it's not exactly super safe so I'm gonna move him behind this cover and you my friend I'm gonna keep covering this so uh, safer now is uh, containing this area so no one can go uh, we have uh, Rosephoros containing this area so no one can go this uh, here side and uh, Tifa you are actually not doing anything so I'm gonna move you here just for for the prep. Okay, and while this is happening, let's move in. Ronin, you're gonna throw a flashbang. And now this is out, we're gonna pie it off. We're gonna go to the threshold, pie off more of it, good idea. Uh, and then, because now we have our south, uh, north covered, I'm actually happy to start clearing those rooms here. Let's go. This room is clear, clear, so I'm happy to be moving in. When we're entering uh, this uh, room, because I, I'm going to be looking this way and then stacking on this door. I'm gonna break this door. Placing charge. It's a one room clear. Move back a little bit. You're throwing a flashbang here. Flash out, holding. Moving in, button hooking, and taking control of this room. It's empty. Now, the only area that is left is this here, this dark area that we have no idea what's happening, and the hostage. Uh, we're pretty sure that. Um, there is, uh, there are more uh, insurgents here, so we need to be very careful. The reason why I'm moving uh, Tifa this way is because I would like to know, to make sure that this area is clear. Now Kefka is going to move up as well and assume the position where Safer is. And Safer at the same time you're moving this way. Nope, this is not working. Safer, you're moving here. And Kivka, you're moving here at the same time. Let's go. Now we're effectively uh, decreasing the amount of unknown areas here. And then while this is happening, you're moving this way. You're moving here. Pie this off a little bit and then let's go. The reason why I'm uh, comfortable moving uh, my uh, troops uh, here just to make sure that this area is clear is because I have enough coverage for this door which is effectively the only place they are going to be going through. It's clear so it's time to stack kind of stack on this door it's a bit of a gamble come on all right. 
Do you have any more? Yep, we're gonna... Placing charge. And we're gonna go back. I think we can afford to have only one person there. Okay, so this is it. This is how it's done. That was a little bit weird because as soon as they saw uh, the guy, um, one of the uh, my troopers, looking into it, they started shooting. He got hit, but it was lucky. I think the, um, the plate caught it. So let's see how it went. Let's go. So you can see we've created kind of cross coverage in order to see the uh, most of this area. Yep, we'll keep pying it off just to make sure that the, there are no nasty surprises. Yep, we heard the door being opened. For some reason they kicked it. There's just a bunch of them coming out. Uh, Ronan was kind of by himself there, but that was okay. That's what containment works. Quite aggressive, those guys. Now we've contained most of the area. I was happy. I was uh, happy to move my assault team. Only two of them, but you get hit in the arm. Yep. Clearing more, uh, opening up more of the area. Flash out. Go, moving it. It was a good idea to flash it because there was still one guy there. Yep, pretty much uh, taking the rooms. Uh, this was, I went very aggressive, but we needed to do it because obviously. Um, the room was completely uh, sealed off. I didn't know what was happening, but it's a it's a tiny place, so one man clear is absolutely fine. And now we are positioning ourselves in order to assault this little uh, prison area, I guess jail area. Placing charge. The charge is placed. All we had to do is just move back. The reason why I did put two people uh, close together is because it exposes them a bit too much. That was just weird. And that was it. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was a very quick mission, only uh, about 2 minutes and 14 seconds. It was pretty smooth. There were a couple of injuries, uh, a couple of my troopers got wounded, but overall it was clear. Uh, we've covered our angles, we've uh, cleared the outside of uh, the building before going internal and clearing that building and then uh, positioned ourselves uh, uh, in the best positions I could uh, think of in order to uh, make our entry into the jail area where our um, uh, hostage was held. Again, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please share, like and subscribe. This was it. Ronin out.